Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today we are going out to a restaurant for my mom and dad's anniversary. So it's a special day. Uh, it's 14th anniversary for me and Vanna. Um, beautiful 14 years, I should say. I should say. Um, I can't believe it is 14 and now she's going to be turning 12 pretty soon so uh, come um, along with us she'll go to a restaurant this is a Hawaiian restaurant um, which is located like 15 or 20 minutes from our house um, it's called Pau Hana um, we, I recently heard about this on Yelp um, it was a recommendation so uh, we'll see how that uh, restaurant is and how the food is there so we have reached the restaurant. Pawana, super busy. I, I thought it's gonna be busy, but Monday, it's busy. That's the restaurant there. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. This is the first time you're coming, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Let's go eat some good food. So even though we made a reservation, we have a few minutes wait there. That's how busy the restaurant is on a Monday. I mean, I have never seen a restaurant busy on a Monday, like, so busy. Right? I, I mean, I've heard, probably the reason is they open at 4 and they close at 9. So they only open for 5 hours every day. And that might be the reason this guy is so busy. And also, I think it's holiday season. That is a second reason probably. People are like, but it has a beautiful vibe. Also, I just realized that even though it's a Monday, we are here at 6.30 and it's like the peak dinner time. That might be one of the reasons because usually, usually people eat sit between 6 30 and 7 30. I'm pretty sure that after a few minutes um, or an hour at least, this restaurant is going to be probably empty. That's what I'm thinking. That has happened to us before. Right. So finally, we got seated. Uh, we got lucky. We are sitting outside the busy area. There is a party room here. So they made us sit here. It's kind of really nice. It looks beautiful. I like the vibe of the restaurant here. Um, they do have um, specials which go on as well as tasting menus. So the, today's special was mussels, it seems, with a dodgy broth, as well as what did they say? It's sweet potatoes and corn, something like that. Um, but um, also, if you if you see this bar here, you see this. This is so pretty. <laughs> like a drink menu and then there is a separate um, dinner menu they have a glossary of how and what actually furkaki and all that stands for so me and Vanna got our drinks today. So I ordered this Isa Verde. It's uh, avocado, jalapeno, tequila, cilantro, agave, lime. It looks something like that. Um, I think it's a dried lime. No, that's torched. Torched lime? Yeah. Aisha has good knowledge of all these. Yeah. <laughs> Here's some small things. Thank you. And then are we ready for entrees? Um, we will time. wait. We need some time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um, and she ordered a uh, beer. What is that called, beer? Kona. Kona Big Wave. That's what it is. Yeah. So That's how it is. Cheers. Cheers to our 14th anniversary. <laughs> They made it 
like strong, I would say, but the taste is just amazing. It has that sweet, sweet uh, flavor. Um, they put avocado, it seems it's in there. Um, jalapeno. Um, the jalapeno gives that kick. And the agave. Agave is basically um, the plant which, out of which the tequila is made of. So they have that um, agave plant itself in there. So it gives that sweetness to it, I guess. But it's, yeah, it has that wholesome flavor of sweet, dang, and sourness. It's kind of nice, pure. But yeah, I love this drink. So I just learned there was um, the brief history of this restaurant or how that name came to be. Pauhana is actually means, um, it describes island after work drinks, that's what it means. Um, and having drinks with, uh, with your friends, um, that's what Pauhana is actually, roughly translates to. Um, so it's basically Hawaiian based. So in general, Hawaii is like people of Japan, Korea, China, Philippines, Portugal, Puerto Rico and Pacific Islands. So all the cuisines were taken together into account. So our food is here. This is, um, what is this, cauliflower? KFC. Uh, Korean fried uh, cauliflower. Korean fried cauliflower, KFC. No, it's not Kentucky fried chicken, it's Korean fried cauliflower. This is, uh, what is this, kurkaki chicken? Yeah. yeah, this is kurkaki chicken. So it's kind of tempura based, um, Japanese style. This is, again, deep fried. American style, you could say, but yeah, that's our appetizers. Let's dig in. I've tasted the cauliflower. Mm -hmm. Superb. I mean, the sauce is perfect sweetness, mm -hmm. perfect tang. It's yummy. How is the chicken? You Good. Should try it. I'm gonna try chicken. But yeah, absolutely amazing. So I taste the chicken. Chicken for me is, it has a very different taste, but I just loved it. For me, cauliflower did the trick. Absolutely right. beautiful cauliflower. And I just got um, Hawaiian soda. It's called uh, <clears throat> strawberry lily koi. Just plain soda with strawberry flavor. Passion food, concentrated things. Yep. What do you like about that soda? It's not sparkling, so that it's like it has like a much lighter taste, and like it just tastes good. It's not sugary either, right? Yeah, it's not. It's, not it's very less sugar. I think that's uh, like you can taste the concentrate, but there's very less sugar to it. So kind of that's what it's nice about that soda. So our food is here. Vanna ordered salmon, miso, um, some miso yaki salmon. This miso yaki salmon. So she, uh, chef suggested to be medium, so she ordered medium. Looks delicious. Are you sure what? Um, so one time pizza. Basically, as uh, like, uh, teriyaki and also uh, some wonton. So it's a wonton pizza, it seems. That's teriyaki and some wontons in there. I uh, ordered today's special. This is mussels uh, and corn, uh, some broth and bread. Looks beautiful. So I tasted the mussel just now. Super smoky flavor. Beautiful texture. I mean, it's not um, the mussels I've eaten in the past, but it's had probably one of the best mussels I've eaten in a while. So finally, our dessert is here. What did we order? This is called passion fruit. Uh, passion fruit of moose cake. Thing. Moose cake, something like that. Uh, not tasted it, but looks delicious. So let's my, my mom eat. was about to stab it with a spoon when I just realized we need to take a video. And then she we were this close of forgetting to take a video for sure. <laughs> you were ready to destroy that uh, desert. <laughs> oh, thanks to Ayush. You like the desert, Ayush? Yes. It's very tangy, sour. It's super tangy. I mean, I was expecting that with the passion fruit. But it's. It's a good tanginess. It's tasty. 
at the same time it's it has that cheesecake flavored ice cream texture yes. huh? that's how i see it the middle part it is very good it's very good okay it okay. seems the like middle part is very did, good did you completely destroy it then the side you chose there we go the whole ice cream <laughs> get done with our dinner um and then the final when they gave us the check they gave this small nice um origami art to ayush so pretty meant to be a crane? Yeah. Okay. I've, I've actually made one of these before. It's really cool. Yeah. Done with the food as soon as we came out, it started snowing. It's cold, but yeah, this restaurant, hands down, one of the good foods in, we have eaten in a while. I it's expensive, I won't say it's cheap. Um, the overall bill for what we ate came around $150. So a little high-end restaurant, a little high-end kind of food, um, but overall experience was really good. Yeah. You like it, Ayesh? Yeah, it was good. It was good, yeah. So we are back home after our dinner. Um, absolutely enjoyed the dinner. One of the very good restaurants we have been in a while. Expensive again, uh, but it was, it was worth it. Um, if you have like this video please give us a thumbs up share and subscribe uh, thank you for watching till the end